Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape Project, power button. Alright, today we'll be showing you guys how to make a power button like this. Um, of course you can sort of take the same fundamental techniques and apply it to any other type of button that you would like to make. So, get started, open a new document. And the first thing we're going to do is hold the control key. Select the circle tool, hold the control key, and let's draw a circle. Then I'm going to control D to duplicate that. Come up to the corner, hold the control key again, and slide that in a little. Change the color so we get a little bit of variation. Let's just sort of eyeball it to see what we're making now is the inner portion of the power button, that circle that's going to be broken. So let's make it about like that. All right. We want to open up the align and distribute palette. You can go up to options, down to align and distribute, or shift control A. Once this is open, we're going to select both by drawing a marquee around them making sure we're on and you can be set on page or our selection area we'll go to center vertical center horizontal notice that now these two are over the top so we can select again now we'll go up to our path functions path and difference now what this has done is you can see if I draw a square page down now the circle is hollowed out so let's center this let's get this going here we're going to cut the piece out of the top that looks about right now we're going to draw the marquee around them go back to the alignment functions make sure it's centered let's put this back on top by going page up draw the marquee around path difference again now that portions cut out select the zoom tool hold the middle mouse button okay so there's two different ways you can do this um, we're going to sort of make this a rounded area we'll select the nodes tool you can just pull that out and that'll make it round that's and you can come to this side and do the same thing now if you wanted it a hundred percent perfect this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna press 5 to go back out alright so we're gonna drag a guide out you can come over to the ruler on the left side left click hold and drag this guide out I wanna make sure that these are selected come here and it will snap you can see that it's snapping when you get close alright we're going to go to path we're going to difference that so we have cut this shape in two we're going to select it control D we'll come up here to the flip selection horizontal we're going to hold down the control key, slide it over to about right there, and it should snap. Select both, path, union. So the whole point of that was if you've done something complex on one side and you want to mirror it, that is one way that you can mirror that. All right. Next is we're going to draw this piece here. Then you just sort of get it to the length that you want it. Should have about the same width as that. Go to your square tool, grab that corner, round it out a little bit. It's starting to look better. All right, marquee over both of them. Path, union. Now they're a single shape. Now that's the inside that's done we're going to start working on the outside part get the circle tool 
Let's draw a circle over. Go ahead and hit page down. Now you can center it up. That doesn't look bad. Um, of course, you can play with the, you know, the size of the circle if you want it closer to the edges, further away. But you basically sort of want to center these on each other. Looking pretty good. Now we're going to turn this red. We're going to put a gradient on it. So we'll come up to the gradient tool. We will go to a radial gradient. Put it right about here. Let's make that center white. Click these to make those outside red. Probably adjust this actually. We're going to come right here with it. Go out here. Let's get this a little bit darker. Not bad, and you can play with that gradient to get the color you want. Um, let's go ahead and select the circle. Control D to duplicate that. We're going to hold the control key. We're going to drag that in. We're going to turn that white. You can double click on the color to bring up the fill and stroke palette. Let's go with the opacity. Mm, down to like 10 or 15 percent. Then you'll just play with this shape to get it the way you like it. And you might have to drop the opacity a little bit further or raise it up just depending on what you want to do. Um, the last thing I like to do is to take the inside button shape we'll go up to the stroke paint we'll go ahead and turn that on we will probably bring it down to like and let's just say 1.5 let's go over here to that color And the opacity in just a little. And that just gives a little bit more definition to the shape in the center. And if you really want a final piece to this to make it really stand out or pop, just depending on your application and how you're using it, you can select the circle again, control D. Let's go ahead and turn that black page down and then I'll use the arrow keys to offset it a little give yourself a little shadow and there you have it that's how you make a button in Inkscape thanks for watching